Oh, it is you. <laughs> so you know, what's up my fellow people? I'm back again with the video challenge known as September to Remember, where I'm basically educating families over the next 14 days or so for this month of September, probably going into October, on how to achieve financial freedom, right? In my previous video, I recapped the two financial objectives that we ought to meet in America. As I previously notification as I previously mentioned in my previous challenge if you haven't checked that out go ahead moving on in two or three minutes did I already say that no in two or three minutes I'll be going over the four financial challenges that we ought to meet no not meet but overcome here in this country what is the first financial challenge Brian I'm glad you asked the first financial challenge is the silent income killer known as inflation now if you don't know what inflation is inflation is when the pri the price of everything around you goes up but your money stays the same. So in perspective, everything around you is just getting more and more expensive. Your money's not even trying to compensate for that. It's just staying the same. Rather, the value of it's going down because now you have to pay more for the same thing that you paid for back then, maybe in the 80s or 90s. You used to pay for a loaf of bread, it used to be 50 cent. Now you go in the store, it's more than a dollar. Where do they do that at? But your money stays the same, right? Gas going up. Some days it's one ninety eight per gallon. The next day it's two thirty five a gallon. What, what's up with that? Inflation. Now I can show you how to overcome that in the future videos. Now, what is the second financial challenge here in America? It's something known as the Chainsaw Massacre. Not the movie. Once again, I don't watch those movies. What is that? It's something known as taxes. Now that's probably the biggest expense. Now, yeah, probably the biggest expense in America. I don't think so but anyways taxes is something that we all pay but most of us are overpaying what do I mean not me to explain we're overpaying our federal taxes yes we pay state taxes yes we pay Social Security we pay Medicare all that stuff but federal taxes is something we don't have to be overpaying because why it takes one-third of our oh, excuse me, yeah one-third of our income off the top annually and we get it back at the end of the year in the form of a tax return Right? Did you know that that's where your tax return comes from? Your pockets. You're basically giving the IRS your money every year. They're earning heck amount of interest off of it and giving you the lower end. That's hustling backwards, guys. And it's time to get more of your money back every year. And I'll show you how to do that in a future video. Now, in the third financial challenge, what is that? The curse. What is the curse? Debt. And debt is a result of taxes and possibly a result of inflation as well. I don't know. But it's definitely a result of taxes. Why? Because you're left with things you have to pay for. Because you've been overtaxed, now you have huge amounts of collections that you need to pay off from applying for loans, credit cards. You get hit with those hard inquiries, balances on your account, debt. Huge amounts of debt. I'll show you how to overcome that as well. And now what is the fourth and final financial challenge here in America? Big business. What is big business, Brian? Businesses are everywhere. You're right. Well, what I mean by big business are the corporations that try to take your money through advertisements, right? Every year, every month, there's a holiday. In January, you have New Year's Day. February, you have Valentine's Day. March, you have St. Patrick's Day. April, you have Easter. May, Mother's Day. You get the point. Whenever you go on, when you, when you watch TV, even on the computer, internet, whatever, there's always an advertisement around that time of the month that's trying to get into your pockets and make you feel bad if you do not participate in this business. They persuade you to try to buy things so that you can please your family and make them happy. Don't buy into that. Yeah, I just told you not to buy into that, but that's how I feel about it. You can do what you want with your money. I'm not telling you what to do with your money, so don't take it the wrong way. But if you'd like to overcome these financial challenges, guys, what you got to do is text me the key phrase for challenges. That's right, the number four space challenges to the number 240. 801-6145. Again, text the key phrase for challenges to 240-801-6145. Alright, that was probably well over four minutes. I don't know if I had a lot to say. <laughs> Stay tuned guys for more videos. Thanks for watching this one. I'll see you soon.